Hey you guys, welcome back to See Mindy Mom. I'm Mindy and today I'm going to share with you some unique and fun Christmas gift ideas that are all right around or under 20 bucks. Stay tuned. For Vlogmas this year, I will not be putting up a video every day. I thought instead that I would do an extra video every week and that I would focus the theme of those videos around budgeting, around keeping a budget during the holidays. So everything from gift guides to meal ideas to secondhand shopping and maybe a little bit of vlogging and taking you through the holiday season with my family. Just a few caveats before we jump into this video. I did the best I could to stay right at or around $20 there might be a few gifts that are slightly more. And of course, if these are Amazon gifts or things that I'm looking up on the Amazon website, you know that those prices are subject to change. So depending on when you watch this video, you might get a better deal or they might be slightly more expensive at that time. If I have links to any of these items, I will leave them in the description box, but I also want you to know that I am an Amazon affiliate. And if I am using affiliate links with Amazon or anything else, as is typical with affiliate links, I typically get a small commission for any sales at no additional cost to you. All of the things that I'm going to share with you are things that we have received, that we have given, or that we plan to give this year or in the coming months for gift exchanges. I also tried to think outside the box with this one because I feel like there's only so many fuzzy socks, comfy jammies, coffee cups or candles a person can have. So I really tried to think of things that our family has enjoyed or that we have given that are a little bit unique and hopefully useful or entertaining or fun for the people in your lives and not really break the bank. I feel like I have a wide array of items, things for kids, things for families, things for adults, kitchen gadgets, men, women. I have lots of items to share with you, so I'll just try to go as quickly as I can through these ideas. First off, let's talk about some games. We are big fans of card games in this family and these are three that we have been playing with our kids for quite some time that have been huge hits. Sleeping Queens, rat Attack Cat, and 99. All three of these games are great games for teaching counting or addition. Some of them involve a little bit of strategy. This one in particular involves counting by fives and tens, which is a great skill for young kids to be learning. Also, all three of these can be played relatively quickly, so you can play more than one round and make an evening of it, or if you just have a few minutes where you're trying to just make it to bedtime, or maybe just take a brain break if you're working at home on schoolwork. These are great because they play in just a couple of minutes a complete round. This one in particular is one that I sometimes put in my purse whenever I know that we're going to be a place where the children will have to wait like a restaurant or an airport because it doesn't take up much space and it's really easy to play in a short amount of time while we are waiting for time to pass. We have also really enjoyed this game. It is called Five Crowns and it is basically a progressive gin rummy game. So it's like gin except there's an extra suit. There's five suits instead of four. And there are wilds and the wilds change every round. So the first round, everybody gets three cards. The second round, everybody gets four. The third round, everybody gets five and so on all the way up to 13, which would be the round where kings are wild. But just like Jen, you're trying to make sets of like amounts or runs. And our younger kids who are six and seven, about to turn seven and eight, have been playing this for a couple of years and they can play it with us. And let's face it, as adults, sometimes it's hard to find games that our kids can play and that we still really enjoy playing. I have to tell you that Candyland and Shoots and Ladders are two games that are not even in this house. We play this kind of stuff and we really enjoy playing it with them. Another game that we can all play that we all enjoy or that sometimes the adults play on their own is Wizard. And as you can see, this is another game that we have just about worn out. I've already lost the box, but I will put a picture up here. This is a game that to me is like a progressive form of spades. So if you've ever played trump games like spades or bridge, this is a game that has a trump that changes each round and each round you get more cards. So the first round it's just one card and the second round everybody gets two cards, so on and so forth. And there are a couple of extra cards thrown in there that are special and so it's a game where you have to use some strategy but also there's a little bit of luck involved it's super fun we've played this at lots of family events so if you are a card loving family this is a great game to invest in. And I don't have it with me, but I'll pop a picture of it up here. If you are a lover of speed card games, then I highly recommend Dutch Blitz. 
And while we're talking about cards, let me just mention a couple of accessories that can make great gifts to go along with your card games. If you have kids that are playing card games that require them to hold the cards in their hand, I highly recommend a card organizer like these trays that we use with our kids. They help them be able to organize their cards according to whatever the rules of the game are that we're playing and allows them to see all of their cards without dropping them on the floor and play a game with us that requires them to keep track of quite a few cards. We've also used the card holders that look more like a fan and that you can stick the cards in. So I will leave those linked in the description box as well, but we definitely like the card trays better than the card fans. And another great little gift or even a stocking stuffer for the card player in your family is this score pad that I found. I'm getting one of these to put in my husband's stocking. It's just a generic score pad, so it can be used with lots of different games. If you have kids and you do not have a giant checkerboard rug, you need one. I think I first saw the giant checkerboard rugs at Cracker Barrel as a little girl and my little sister and I got one one year for Christmas and we played it all the time. In fact, if we lost a checker for it, we would just go get a mason jar lid for the kitchen so that we could keep playing on our checkerboard rug. This game is currently slightly more than $20 on Amazon, but I really wanted to mention it because I love it for little kids. It is a game that requires logic and reasoning and strategy and it's a game that they can play on their own. So what you have in here is a board and then you have three little house pieces three little piggies and a wolf and it gives you a book to set up the game board where you will place the piggies on the game board along with the wolf and then you have to take the house pieces and you have to arrange them on the board so that number one they all fit but number two all of the piggies are safe inside of the house away from the wolf and there are a couple of other variations you can play with this there's a book that comes with it that gives you how to set up the game board and it goes from easy configurations to harder configurations so I highly recommend this if you want to encourage some logic and reasoning and strategy skills in your kids. And another one that my kids have liked is this balancing barnyard game. Again, another game that requires some reasoning and some logic and some experimentation, and it helps them learn about balancing the animals across the little teetering farm. Very fun to play. It's a little bit noisy, but that's part of the fun as well. Whenever they can't quite get the pieces to stack up and they come crashing down, they think that's kind of fun too. Another thing that we thoroughly enjoy in this household is puzzles. And I particularly like the Springbok five piece puzzles. I love these particular puzzles because they're very colorful and they're a little bit easier to put together, which is the kind of puzzle that my family likes to do. And 500 pieces I find is just the right amount to do a puzzle in just a couple of days as a family. And just another fun tip about puzzles. Whenever we complete a puzzle, I will jot down the date inside the box just so I can keep track of the number of times that we've done that puzzle or the last time that we completed it. And I thought these were really fun. They're basically popsicle koozies. So you know the popsicles that you buy in the plastic tubes and then you put them in the freezer and they freeze solid. My kids love those. And I realize that it's the winter time, but it's popsicle season all year long in this household. And I actually still find boxes of those freezer popsicles at the Dollar Tree and at Walmart. If you have a toddler on your gift list, I highly recommend this Fisher Price Laugh and Learn piggy bank. We have given that as a gift multiple times and my kids had one when they were younger as well. This next one is going to seem kind of crass, but just stay with me. My husband said this was his favorite gift that he got from me last year. I'm pretty sure I just put it in his stocking. It is an LED toilet nightlight. <laughs> if you're younger, you may not understand why anybody would ever need this, but just trust me, your time's a coming when you're going to be waking up in the middle of the night and have to visit the bathroom. This light is motion censored, which is great. It means it's not going to shine all night long. It's only going to come on whenever somebody comes into the bathroom. It does take batteries, but we've had ours for a year now and haven't had to change the batteries once. I also like that it provides enough light that somebody can actually come in and use the restroom without having to turn on another light in the bathroom, which can wake up somebody else in the room, or it can make it harder for us to get back to sleep if we have to turn on a light in the middle of the night. So maybe that's not for you, but maybe you know somebody in your life who needs one of those. If you have a tween, a teenager, or even a college girl in your life that you're purchasing gifts for, I really like these jersey headbands. My daughter has been wearing them a lot. She got some for her birthday, so I highly recommend those. I also think stationery is a great gift. There are some really cute, inexpensive stationery sets that you can purchase. I even found one that you can personalize for under 20 bucks on Amazon. We are trying to encourage our kids to write handwritten notes and ourselves as well. And some 
sometimes it just makes it a lot more fun and easier to commit ourselves to doing if we have some fun stationery to do that on. My husband's dad and my dad are both pretty handy. They have a lot of tools. My dad specifically does a lot of work with wood and he has been building things lately. So last year we got them both one of these magnetic wristbands. They wear it on their wrist and it can hold all those little metal parts and nails and screws and they both really like that. And now a few kitchen gadgets that I thought I'd share with you guys. First off, I thought these microwave bowl holders would be a really great gift, especially for maybe a college kid or a person who's just starting out in their own apartment. I don't know how many times I have practically burned my fingers taking a bowl out of the microwave, so I gotta be honest, I probably wouldn't mind having a set for my own home. I also just ordered this meal planning pad. It is magnetic and it has a space on one side for the meals that you're planning for the week and then a grocery list on the other side that's perforated. So you can make your grocery list as your meal planning and then tear off your list and take it to the store. And I plan to actually pair it with one of my favorite kitchen utensils, which is this ground beef separator. It's something that you use to separate the ground meat as you brown it on the stove. And I will also write out on recipe cards or print out a couple of my favorite recipes to put with that as well. If you've watched my channel for very long, you know that I love my silicone popcorn popper and we have purchased these as gifts for various people in our lives over the past couple of years. Sometimes we'll make a basket out of them and we'll give them the popcorn popper and maybe some popcorn kernels and seasonings and a box of candy so that they can have an at-home movie night. If you have somebody in your life who's watching what they eat or who has some nutrition or fitness goals, typically speaking, meal prepping is something that they want to do. So a great idea for that person might be a lunchbox. And actually that's what I got my husband for Christmas this year. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace. It was new with tags. And I feel like there are lots of great lunchbox options out there for women, but I did find several on Amazon that I thought would be great for men, including this awesome Carhartt lunchbox. I almost bought that one before I found the Igloo lunchbox online. And I thought this one was really cool too. It's very similar to the one that I was able to get on Facebook Marketplace. And if you were wanting to rev up that gift a little bit, or if you found a really great deal on a lunchbox and you want to spend a little bit more money, you might consider some food prep containers. Or I really like these glass containers with the lids that snap around and are airtight. I have used mine for years. You can find those at places like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, but I also found some on Amazon, which I will leave linked. I realize I'm sharing a lot of things that you can purchase online or on Amazon, but I also just want to throw out there to maybe think about the small businesses that are in your area or the people that you know that own small businesses. I have purchased my fair share of things from big box stores or from online sources, but I also am trying to think about the people I know who have small businesses, maybe people who are crafters or people who have a sewing business or who have an Etsy shop and try to support them with a few of my purchases if, if I can because I know that 2020 has been really tough on our small businesses. So when I went to Etsy and I set the search filter to gifts under $25, I thought there were lots of really great, even personalized options there. And I know that people have strong feelings about Etsy, but you might be helping out a small entrepreneur by purchasing something from their shop. I also wanna give a shout out to Thread Tank. They are the ones who sent me this t-shirt. I've actually had it for several months and I've had lots of compliments on it. I will leave them linked in the description box as well. And they have a lot of really cute t-shirt and sweatshirt designs, including t-shirts and sweatshirts for the holidays. And they put your orders into production when you order them instead of, you know, keeping like a warehouse of product that they're trying to sell. I'll be talking about Thread Tank a little bit more in an upcoming vlog because they're going to have a great Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, but I thought I would go ahead and leave them linked in the description box in case you want to check out some of their shirts. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you. And I know that that is kind of a random hodgepodge of gifts. Hopefully you got some ideas for unique, inexpensive or useful gifts for the people that you're shopping for this holiday season. And if you have any ideas for unique and expensive gifts, feel free to leave me a comment. You may be helping me or somebody else out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be sure to check in with another video very soon. Bye.